producers, it's Özgün here. So if you are watching this video, you are probably a music producer. If that's so, in some part of your music production journey, I'm sure you try to remix a song or make a bootleg and probably you just give up or get stuck or spend too much time on finding the best a cappella. When I decided to make a remix or bootleg, instantly I just get, you know, my hype is killing because of the a cappella finding process. It always takes too much time. I know there are some paid VSTs, but I never get a good result with them and I make YouTube search or Google search how to find a cappella of this track so I get some link they say the link in the description I click that link it goes another link it goes another link and I find myself inside the endless loop you know clicking the links but never find the cappella that I'm searching so there are one more way if you find the instrumental version of a certain track you can merge them and reverse one of them polarity if you find the exact versions so the music should cancel itself and you should get the vocals but yeah this takes too much time and we are in 2022 i was always expecting some service that i can just drag drop the mp3 file and it gives me the acapella or any stem and you know what it's finally here i couldn't believe at first when i try it because in two minutes i get the almost studio quality acapella yes i'm talking about lalal.ai I don't know how they managed to do that, but the service is just making perfectly. And today I'm going to show you how to use that website because they have a free plan now. You can test the whole service for free. They will give you 10 minutes of duration and which means, you know, two to three tracks. I think it's worth to check it out. And also I'm going to show you after extracting the vocal or several stamps, how can you arrange that in the project to start making the bootleg or remix you are making. Okay, guys, and if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. So this is the website I'm talking about. You can just drag drop any of the files to here and it's gonna generate you kind of stamps. You can just separate the vocal and the instrumental version or you can just take only the drums, only the bass, you know, piano, electric guitar, synthesizer. And yeah, as I told you, like, first 10 minutes is totally free uh, you can check the link in the description and extract any vocal for 10 minutes which means like two to three tracks which is a really big deal without paying anything so this is the track i'm gonna test for today uh this is tiesto on evmx the moto track this is the tiesto vip mix version so let's hear it how it sounds now So most of you guys probably know the track already. In my experience, the extracting vocals from an EDM track is a bit more hard because we are processing the vocal as a synthesizer. That's why I was really skeptical at first when I testing this website. And yeah, you are gonna surprise the result. Okay, let's drag this one to the website. You can just drag drop from your DAW to Lalal AI. And after uploading, it's gonna put us to some queue. It's never take more than, let's say, one minute. In the track, when the vocals are aligning with the drums, we have a sidechain going on in the vocal. That's why I don't expect it to unsidechain vocals from the track because that's just impossible. But what I'm looking is after the first drum part, when the re-space and everything is going on in the break section, when the main vocals are playing, I'm expecting to get a clean vocal extraction from that. Yeah, when the cue ends, you, you just get a screen like this and you can preview the vocal and preview the instrumental version. And before you click process the entire file, you don't reduce the time on your account. So if you don't like how it sounds, you just click cancel and nothing is gonna reduce from the account of yours. Okay, now we have vocal and instrumental chosen. Let's preview how it's gonna be when we process the entire file. I think it's better than what I expected. I still get 99% of the vocals in here. Yeah, now the most important part, the break section. Because there are no sidechain going on in the vocal and I just expecting to get clean a cappella in this section. Oh. 
But you know, you know, you know that's the motto. Mm. Drop a few bills and pop a few champagne bottles. Mm. I think it's really clean. Yes, when we compare the vocal, it's totally usable in a bootleg. It's way better than I expected. Let's process the entire file. Uh, for processing, you get another queue. Doesn't take more than one or two minutes as I tested it before. And also you don't need to wait the queue to finish. Uh, you can just clo even close the website. It's gonna send an email when it's done. But still let's wait and check the clock. Yes, it finished in a minute. Now we can just click download to the file. I drag drop the files to FL Studio. Okay, let's check how it's gonna sound. Let's go back to website because I have one more thing to uh, render. Okay, now we are going to click select stamp separation type and it's going to put us to the preview screen. Now you can just extract any of other parts that you think you need in the remix or bootleg. Uh, in this case, you know, I'm not gonna extract drums, but I can just show it to you. Because when I make a remix or bootleg, I like to use my own drums, my own kits, my own sounds. But still, you can just extract the drum and sample it. Maybe you can use it on another track. You can layer it with some other drum loot and create something new. It can be really handy and it's making a really good job on, yes, separating the stamps. Okay, I drag drop the drums to show you properly in the FL Studio. This is what I get after separation. Because when you extract the drums, you also get the no drum version of the track. Maybe it's good for making some mashups or something like that. But yeah, this is not the case for today's topic, but just wanted to show you what Lalal AI capable of. Uh, we are gonna go back, uh, maybe let's create some previews first. Last time I just go render that one instantly. So you don't need to render it as I told you. You can always create the previews and check it out. So the reason I'm extracting the base to hear what's going on in the chord progression, the bass progression. It's gonna be so much easier if you have the bass uh, stem from the track itself, uh, which is, let's check how it's gonna sound. This is the Reese bass, you know, the, the main bass that the tracks break have. Okay, let's render this one and put to the project and after that we can talk about how to arrange the stamps that you get from Lalal AI to make a remix or bootleg. Okay now I downloaded the base let's drag drop to the project. In this case uh, if you are using an mp3 to generate the stamps uh, which I suggest you to normally find a WAV but I didn't have WAV versions of the track that's why I had to stick with mp3. If you use WAV the quality, the extraction is gonna even better. But yeah, most of you guys have mp3, that's why I just wanted to demonstrate it to you with an mp3. After extracting the files, let me delete or just move the drums a bit to the bottom. Just choose all of the files. I know this file is 125 ppm, but every mp3 file got a little gap in the beginning, which they store the tempo information, the artist, you know, the, the, the tags of the mp3 just stored in the very beginning gap of the file. That's why to use it properly, we have to cut the first gap. And after that, let's check uh, where the track is starting. Yeah, this is the first hit. Like, bam, 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 bam. I think they call it Auftakt in German, uh, like missing bar, something like that. But it's, it should start like this. Just don't forget to edit and, you know, cut shift 
them all because we have to edit them as a group and here yeah, now we have the acapella version which is in here we have the instrumental version which i'm not gonna use and this is the bass split which i'm gonna use so now i'm gonna delete the drums uh i will have the full version just in case you know in case if you want to listen to it and check the parts check the instruments uh, the acapella version which we are gonna use as our main acapella in the track and we have the bass version now i know this track 125 bpm let's say you want to change the bpm you have to write it and let's put it to stretch and give the tempo information we are just telling them like this sample is 125 bpm and now if you just change the tempo of the fl studio it's it's always gonna lock to the grid Yes, this is the first thing to do. And the second thing to do, uh, just click Alt T and we are going to put some markers and mark the certain parts, certain locations of the track. We are going to start with break. So the first part is kind of intro and when the intro ends, we are starting a break. And this is the hook part, like we can call it hook or something. And if you realize, we have the kick coming in in this part, which is a build up to the drop. And this is the pre drop, like main stage, future rave, techno, this kind of tracks. You don't get, you most of the time, you just have a pre drop section, which is a longer than before, and you just make a really big tension in that part. It's totally up to you. Do you want to follow it in your remix or not? You know, sometimes if I just want to cut some part, I just do that. Yes, again, it's up to you, but you can just always cut the parts and keep labeling it. Like, let's say real build in here, and maybe we can say pre-build. It makes more sense with this. And which is gonna be obviously the drop. Like, once you label the parts, it's so easy to create the, your version, your bootleg or remix or whatever you're doing with this track. Like, let's say you label all of the track and disable the first one. Now we have to go to the base. This is a temp this is a temporary channel which I'm not gonna use in the future. But now I'm gonna use the base channel to determine the main base progression because it's gonna be so much easy if I have the base stamp and just copy how it sounds. <laughs> Okay, I get a respace preset. Now let's just follow the G tune. It's reading the information from the bass stem that we extracted from Lala AI. And I'm just gonna write the same notes to the serum and I'm gonna get the MIDI information of the bass progression.
And yeah, it's gonna be go back to original one. Right now we have to determine which octave because when I go down to the G, it's not sound good. Maybe we just uh, started one octave up. Now we have the bass progression of the track. I can just mute the bass for now and I can just use it whenever I need. Maybe I can just check it again in the drop. And now I'm gonna put the vocal to a separate channel. I will just limit it a bit. Actually just maximizing it and making it a bit more loud. And after that you can put your favorite delay and reverb preset. We can fine tune the vocals a bit. Mm -hmm. And yeah guys, now you have the bass progression and the main acapella of the track. And you know which parts is belong in this acapella. You can just chop the arrangement or you can follow the arrangement, make a new drop out of it. You can just add or change so many things. Like yeah, the main problem is finding the acapella. It's now solved. You can just drag drop and you will get this quality acapella, you know? And yeah guys, I'm finally happy that I find a service that I can just drag drop my mp3 file and generate a file that is almost studio quality and totally usable in a track that you can sample that you can make a remix or bootleg and the good thing you have 10 minutes of free test the package just click the link in the description register to the website without paying anything test the service and just comment the honest opinions after you're testing the service and let me know if you like it or not today that was it guys i hope you can apply this to your own productions too thanks for watching see you on the next video bye bye